what's up guys it's fat Earn coming to you with obviously modern warfare 3 derp, 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 derp. this is a tdm on village uh quite popular map if i do say so myself and playing some ground war here trying to get my butt gank on um that's what i call it when you gank them from behind um and you hit their butt it's called butt ganking and i don't know if you can tell my video for some reason i don't know what it is it's only been with modern warfare 3 it, like flashes as the map loads um, maybe just because it's not moving, because it doesn't seem to be doing it now, but anyways, got the good old handy dandy trusty ACR with a silencer. Um, it's a pretty solid weapon, but that's not what we're here to talk about. What we're here to talk about is, um, my predictions of Modern Warfare 3. Now, this is going to be a pretty short video, as you can notice the gameplay is not that long, but I thought, I guess up until now, that Modern Warfare 3 was going to be not like the COD savior or like, you know, what MW2 was supposed to be. Um, I look at Modern Warfare 3 as something that um, could have been like a rejuvenation or like a, not a rebirth, but something to help refresh COD, you know, get rid of like the, the crazy nukes. You can get a, an MOAB that gets a lot of kills and stuff. Um, you can balance the weapons out. You can take care or take out things such as um, Juggernaut. Um, they're not Juggernaut, the, uh, Painkiller, which is basically like having Juggernaut. And do a lot of things to fix the game, which, which they did for Modern Warfare 2. There's a lot of improvements. There's a lot. But, um, there seems to be an emerging trend, uh, that I have noticed. And not so much that I just didn't notice it before. Maybe I just didn't pay attention enough. And that is the support loadout. Now, I'm sure you probably heard this from someone else. But as of late, I feel that most people have found out that, you know what? If I'm not good enough to get a bunch of assault kill streaks, because some games I don't get that many. I may put on a Pred Missile, the Reaper, and, uh, and a Payload and AC-130, and you know what? I might only get one Pred Missile a game, but I still might have a 4 or a 5 kill death ratio. People in this game, they can't seem to do that, so what they do is they just throw on support, and before you know it, in a Ground War Domination game, there is a stealth bomber or EMP every five seconds, and you know what? That's just going to be the end of this game, um, at least in Ground War. Not that the game is going to be completely unplayable, but it's not going to be something you want to have to deal with. I sure as heck know that I don't. I'm trying to do this challenge that I heard about that uh, one of the biggest commentators put out, X-Jaws, from his uh, Sunday commentary with uh, a, a dual com. And the challenge is to get 60 kills while getting 10 caps and 10... To, er, 10 caps, 10 flag caps, which is crazy because it's crazy hard to get 10 caps as it is, but to get 60 kills along with that, forget about it. Um, the only way I can see logically going about it is to try and get 60 kills before you get the caps, like get like 45 kills and then just try to cap mad flags at the end of the game, but I don't see how it's going to work. Maybe it's just me being a noob, maybe I need to suck it up and step it up, but I tell you what, I can't even begin to count how many games I've had ruined by someone who just throws out an EMP because they happen to sit there and get, you know, six flags or like they get five flag caps, um, they shot down a couple UAVs, and then they got, you know, like 10 kills. They got their 18 kills or whatever, or their 18 points. And if they have hardline on, it doesn't matter. You get an EMP and you can wipe out the entire team's air support. Granted, maybe this is just me whining, but I really don't like the way it's going. I don't know how to balance something like the support. Um, I really, really like the idea, the concept of having, you know, um, maybe not like really strong kill streaks, but like having stealth bombers, um, when the other team just uses like 10 stealth bombers or like eight freaking um, EMPs in a game, it's kind of ridiculous. I mean, I, Juggernaut, I don't really care too much about. Today, I took out a Juggernaut by myself with a single extended mag clip of the PP90. I ended up getting a headshot for like the last bullet. Um, that's how I killed him. So the Juggernaut doesn't really bother me that much, but, ugh, man, that Stealth Bomber and that EMP, they can sure be a pain. But uh, you're about to watch a Reaper Pro at work here, or you have been, as I throw these missiles everywhere and get my Osprey Gunner. What? what? And here you go. Look at this guy in the cave. Whoop! Got that in there. But you can tell he wasn't happy because guess what happens next? Game over. Anyways, I hope Modern Warfare 3 doesn't succumb to crap. And that support evens itself out, or maybe not as many people use it and start using Assault or Specialist. But that's just my thing, and I hope you enjoyed the rage quit of the other team. Anyways, it's Fat Aaron, guys. Peace!